in this video we are going to discuss about uh, crystal oscillator so this diagram shows you the uh, crystal control oscillator circuit uh, you have a crystal here uh, this uh, this is uh, similar to a call pit oscillator where this inductor is replaced by a the crystal crystal is uh, nothing but a thin slice of piece of uh, electric material which is made up of uh, quartz, tourmaline, uh, rock, tea, salt. So these two are naturally found and uh, which exhibit the piezoelectric effect. So what is piezoelectric effect means uh, the crystal which will react to any ma mechanical stress by providing an electrical charge. So it not only provide a good stability uh, and it also it provide a good selectivity as it provide high quality factor. The inverse uh, piezoelectric means uh, uh, conversion of electrical energy to a mechanical energy. Okay, so this crystal will exhibit um, uh, two types of uh, different methods of cutting uh, the crystal vapor. Um, one is X cut and another one is uh, Y cut. And when the wafer is cut in such a way that uh, uh, the flat surface are perpendicular to its uh, mechanical axis that is y axis means uh, uh, it is called as y cut so you can see this uh, this uh, cut is perpendicular to the x axis means it is a y cut okay so this method of cutting uh, which will determine the natural uh, resonant frequencies and uh, temperature coefficient of the crystal so what is x cut means uh, when the wafer is cut in such a way that um, uh, such a way that uh, it flat surface are perpendicular to the uh, x axis okay so this one so this is called as x cut so you can see the if the frequency of the applied voltage ac voltage is equal to uh, natural resonant frequency of the circuit then the maximum amplitude of vibration is obtained so the frequency we are getting f is equal to uh, p divided by 2l uh, root of y divided by rho uh, what is y y is a uh, young's modulus and uh, uh, rho is a uh, thickness of the crystal and uh, p is uh, uh, P is equal to um, 1 2 3 and it will goes on and um, L is nothing but the thickness of the crystal so if the thickness of the crystal is less means uh, you will get a high frequency okay so we can't uh, reduce the thickness uh, 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 to a certain extent right so the resonant uh, frequency we are uh, obtaining is uh, it is ranges from 0 0.5 megahertz to uh, 0.5 megahertz to it's to 30 megahertz this is what we have obtained so the internal architecture of this uh, crystal will look like this uh, one uh, resistance inductance and the uh, capacitance which is it should be in parallel with the uh, uh, another capacitance that that we have named it as uh, CP okay so the application of the um, and this uh, is used in uh, mobile phones, uh, radios and uh, uh, microcontrollers, Arduino, um, computers and uh, counters, okay. So different crystals exhibit the different uh, properties uh, which mostly we use quartz because it is easily available and uh, rockline salt because it is very, uh, um, it is very thin and uh, it is easily breakable, okay. So we have uh, we have to see the application of piezoelectric sensors, which is used in the industrial applications for a variety of uses like uh, engine knock sensors, pressure sensors, sonar equipments, etc. The piezoelectric actuators are used in uh, industrial applications for a variety of uses like uh, diesel fuel injectors, fast response solenoids, optical adjustment, ultrasonic cleaning, ultrasonic welding, welding. Um, piezoelectric motors, stack actuators, trip actuators, piezoelectric relays, etc. Piezoelectric transistors are used in medical applications for a variety of uses like ultrasound imaging, 
and ultrasound procedures. Piezoelectric actuators are used in consumer electronics like uh, piezoelectric printers, piezoelectric speakers, piezoelectric buffers, humidifiers, electronic toothbrushes. Piezoelectric materials are used in musical applications like instruments, pickups and microphones. Piezoelectricity is used in defense applications like uh, micro robotics, course changing bullets etc. Piezoelectric is used in some other applications like uh, piezoelectric igniters, electricity generations, mems, tennis racket etc. So this is a graph between the uh, impedance and the frequency for series resonance and uh, for parallel uh, resonance. So we know that the series resonance frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root of L C S and the parallel resonance frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root of L C equivalent where C equivalent is equal to C S C P divided by C S plus C P since C S and C P are in series. Okay. So this uh, quality factor Q is equal to omega S L divided by R. Uh, or I can write it as uh, in terms of C I can write it as uh, 1 divided by omega s uh, C R ok so what is overtone overtone is nothing but a odd harmonic uh, of the fundamental frequency ok uh, so since we are not uh, unable to reduce the thickness of the crystal further in order to achieve the maximum frequency we are going for this uh, one ok so if you see uh, you can see z is equal to I can write R plus uh, J omega L minus uh, J uh, uh, by omega C, right? So if the frequency uh, is um, uh, if the frequency is increasing, if the frequency is increasing means uh, uh, it is reduced. Uh, is it will get reduced because of the capacitance, right? If the frequency have increased, um, uh, the impedance get reduced because of this equation, right? Uh, this is for series resonance, okay? And uh, if I increase the uh, uh, frequency further, uh, uh, it, it will be increased because of this uh, inductance, okay? So similarly, uh, you can um, you can write it for the uh, uh, parallel resonance. So if I increase the frequency. Uh, uh, Z will increase because of the inductance and uh, it will re reduce because of the capacitance. Impedance will reduce because of the capacitance. So, uh, this is exactly opposite to that of the, if I plot uh, for current and frequency, this will, uh, this will, uh, this uh, graph will look entirely inverted. Okay. So, this is how we have derived, uh, derived uh, the uh, series resonance frequency. So you can see at um, at series resonance that is uh, at Fs uh, um, at Fs uh, Z value is minimum that is nothing but R because uh, omega L is equal to uh, 1 divided by omega C. So if I solve I will get uh, Fs is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root of L C. C is nothing but a series capacitance. Okay. This is for parallel capacitance. How to derive the uh, equation for the parallel capacitance I have shown it here and uh, uh, we know that the quality factor Q is equal to omega R div L divided by R that is equal to 1 divided by omega R C uh, C R uh, I can write omega is equal to 2 pi F R so uh, if I equate this two equations uh, I will get uh, Q square is equal to L divided by R square C so from this I can write Q is equal to 1 divided by R root of L by C. So, well, let us see the applications of parallel resonance. Parallel resonance are used in the current amplifiers, filters, induction heating, uh, radio frequency amplifiers, etc. And series resonance are used in oscillators, uh, voltage amplifiers, tuning and uh, high frequency filters. Okay. So, there are two types of um, uh, oscillator. Uh, uh, PS crystal oscillator, uh, crystal oscillator are there. One is a uh, Miller oscillator, Miller oscillator, and uh, another one is a uh, PS crystal oscillator.
so so first uh, let me draw it for a uh, ps crystal oscillator so this is re and uh, this is ce R1, R2 and it is connected to a um, RF choke and we are getting the output from uh, here you have a, a crystal and uh, one capacitor so I am getting an output here so this is nothing but um, this is nothing but your uh, PS uh, crystal oscillator. Uh, so here the crystal is connected in uh, series element uh, in the feedback frog from the collector to the base uh, region and R1 and R2 and R3 provide a uh, necessary DC bias to the transistor and C is nothing but the uh, C is nothing but the emitter bypass, capac bypass capacitor and uh, this is a radio frequency choke which will provide a uh, DC bias uh, while decoupling any AC signal on the power line from affecting the output signal. So this capacitance will block any uh, DC uh, between the collector and the base and it has a negligible impedance at the operating frequency of the oscillator. So I can uh, from this uh, we can generate a frequency that is nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi root of uh, L LCS. Okay. So the main advantage of the um, piezoelectric uh, crystal is uh, its uh, simplicity. Okay. So I, I hope uh, this video will be useful for you, um, and we will discuss uh, the rest of the topic in the next class. Thank you very much.